Welcome, in front of me is a Vico Y60 and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. And to get started, I do recommend you to right off the bat insert your SIM card. That is because the device does take a little bit of a while to load up the contacts that are on the SIM card. Um, I'll flip it over. You can see that already did pop my SIM card in. Um, and actually already waited through the process of this. So it did load them up already. So I don't have to do that again. And then outside of that, uh, I'll mention right here, you can see that the device is locked and I can unlock it using the uh, verification pattern. Now right here, I'll also point out that there is a pattern. Keep that in mind because we will change it. At least I will do something completely different just to show you that it does change. Uh, and I can also tap on the use Google account instead. And this will just take you to the uh, Google as a verification option. And there we go. So to get started with the bypass, you want to go back to the first page. Um, if you are already on the first page, uh, you haven't gone through the setup, uh, then only connect to Wi-Fi and go back to this page right here. From there, you want to tap on emergency call, emergency information, tap on that twice, then choose edit option, which is the pencil and add contact. And as you can see, there are the contacts. Now for you, if you just inserted the SIM card, you will probably need to wait like a couple minutes uh, before you see any contacts here. Just keep it open and wait for the contacts to load up. And uh, yeah, from here, choose any kind of contact you want. It really doesn't matter. As you can see, I just tapped on some random one by complete mistake. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Once you add it, tap on the contact itself, then choose the three dots and we're gonna go to share. From here, you want to hold the Gmail option and then, whoops, it just decided to disappear. So let's go back to it, share, hold the Gmail and then choose app info. And once you see this page right here, what you want to do is gonna start off by going into advanced. Just quickly make sure I'm going the right direction. There we go, notifications, advanced, additional settings in the app. And from here, I'm gonna go to three dots, help and feedback. There we go, now it took a little bit of a moment to load up, but once you see this page, what you wanna do here is type in Morse code or just two letters, M-O, and it should bring it up as I suggested. As you can see, it's right at the top, use Morse code. This will contain a video, so you wanna tap on the video. This will load it up and it will give you this three dot option right here. So tap on the three dots, choose watch later, and this should open up our web browser. There we go. From here, choose accept and continue. And let's go to next, no thanks. And once you can type in an address at the top, select it and navigate to hard reset that info. Like so. Now actually, <clears throat> normally, uh, if you're looking also at the guide that is provided in the link at the in the description, um, in the guide, it's uh, telling us to go uh, to the download category uh, and then download settings. Uh, I'm gonna try something else. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, uh, but if it does, it's gonna make it a little bit simpler. So I'm gonna quickly try it out. So um, I navigated to hard reset that info slash bypass. And in here we do have a settings application. But yeah, it seems to not work. So let's go up and do the, the way it was actually intended in the guide. So tap on the three bars right at the top, 
go to the download category and in the download search bar you want to type in settings As you can see, there should be one option right here. So Android settings APK, choose download, then scroll down and once more tap on the download button. Let's continue. Allow. And OK. And once it's done downloading, tap on open. And this will tell us that to install it, we need to allow access from unknown sources for Chrome. So it's up on settings, check the box right over here, go back and we should see install button right at the bottom. Once you install it, open it up. And from here, you want to scroll down to security and location and scroll down to advanced and you will have screen pinning. Make sure you enable screen pinning and then also you want to enable a lock device when unpinning and this will allow us to set a protection to our device. And as you can see here we have a choice between pattern, pin, password or not now. Now obviously we only consider the two or the three first ones and not the not now. So I also did mention that the device has an unlocking method uh, using the pattern. So I'm gonna keep it completely different and I'm gonna go with a pin. So let's select pin. Uh, secure startup, I would say no. And, and here you wanna insert your pin. Now I do advise you to use the same one. It's gonna make it a little bit easier throughout the process when I'm telling you what to put in uh, the pin. So I'm just gonna basically go with one, two, three, four, keeping it super simple. So again, one, two, three, four. And I do advise you to do the same thing. It's like I said, gonna be easier. Then repeat it, one, two, three, four, and continue. And there we go. So once you have set up your uh, pin, what you wanna do is hold the power key. And from there, select restart. Okay, so this is the pin for the SIM card. If your SIM card doesn't have any pin, you most likely won't see the screen. I'm gonna insert my pin right here. And this is the lock screen. So to unlock the device, we need to put in the pin that we have set up, which is one, two, three, four. And from here we can go to the setup. Now at this moment while I'm going to the setup you will see that we can complete it but I wouldn't recommend you to set it up the way you intend to use the device. Just go through it as quick as you can because I still recommend you to perform a factory reset of the device uh, once you have access to the home screen. So whatever you set up right now has basically no meaning. And in here you can see we have the verification, but not pattern anymore, it's now verification pin. That is because the phone is uh, so great, or Android in this case, that it can only keep one screen protection in its memory and if you set up another one, it's gonna overwrite the old one. So to unlock our device right now, all we need to do is put in our pin, which we have set up to be one, two, three, four, and tap on next. And this basically unlocks the device. Now, like I mentioned before, I still recommend you to perform a factory reset of the device, even though it looks like it's unlocked. It still contains the old account in its memory. So if you were to, for instance, factory reset the device through recovery mode, not through settings, the device would go back to being locked. So let's skip this. Now there is a little skip button right at the top, barely visible, so that's what I'm gonna choose. And give it a moment, you should see all the apps on your home screen. So from here, go to the app tray, settings, scroll all the way down to system, reset options, 
erase all data factory reset reset phone and provide the pin again so one two three four and then tap on erase everything now i'm not going to be tapping on it right now that is only because by doing so i'll just prolong the video for no reason once the process is finished, which it will take about like five minutes, once it's finished, you should be then back in the setup screen uh, with the key difference of the device being fully unlocked at that point. So you don't need to log into your uh, Wi-Fi. You can just skip that if you want to, and you can do all well the setup as however you like, basically as, as though the device is new. Um, so yeah, click on erase everything. And at that point, your device, once it's completed, will be fully unlocked and you can set it up however you like. So that being said, this is how you would bypass the Google verification on this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.